devotees, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some shocking news from the Bachelor Nation. If you're a fan, you've probably heard that Rachel Lindsay and Brian Abasolo, who found love on season 13 of The Bachelorette, are getting divorced. Let's dive into the details, but first, hey kings and queens, welcome back. It's your girl royalty, back with another celebrity relationship gist. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the re MVP. And if you're new, you're so welcome. Please consider being a part of us by hitting the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. Thank you. So, Rachel and Brian, who captured our hearts during their bachelorette journey in 2017, announced their engagement in the finale. Fast forward to 2024, and court documents obtained by People revealed that Brian filed for divorce on January 2nd, 2024, citing irreconcilable differences, and in a surprising turn, he also requested spouse's support and for Rachel to cover his legal fees. Hmm. The news blindsided many fans who followed the couple's journey on social media and podcast. Rachel and Brian celebrated their second wedding anniversary in August 2021 and relocated to Los Angeles with plans for starting a family. So, what led to this unexpected split? According to Rachel, their busy work schedules caused them to lead separate lives, with the couple reportedly seeing each other only once a month. In a candid discussion on Nick Val's podcast, The Val Files, in December 2023, Rachel disclosed that they had different goals and visions for their future. You guys, it's okay for couples to have different goals, different plans, individual goals, but they should have a common goal as a couple for your relationship and a common goal for your family because this whole idea of leading different lives and even seeing each other once a month i don't think it's healthy it's not a healthy way to lead a relationship talk more of marriage there's a saying that stays the heart grows fonder with distance but hey the heart loses emotional interest sometimes with distance it's it's never healthy for a couple to not see all the time how do you guys you know how do you guys feel each other like intimacy and all of that it's not healthy yes you can have individual goals but you should have a common goal and there should be a balance balance is everything that makes a relationship work why each person is striving hard for their individual goals but they should have a common goal with balance to ensure that they have something they are dreaming together in common and that alone can always bring them back together anyway brian confirmed the split on his instagram sharing that they had made the difficult decision to part ways and start anew he requested respect and privacy for their family and friends as they navigate their next steps rachel has yet to respond to brian's divorce filing publicly but she posted a cryptic message on her instagram story on january 1st 2024 hinting at a fresh start this isn't Rachel's first breakup. After her engagement to Peter Cross, the runner-up on her bachelorette season ended, she chose Brian, who proposed with a stunning three karat diamond rings. They had a beautiful union. They've been together since 2017. That's a long time. But unfortunately, in 2024, it's all coming to an end. As we process Rachel and Brian's split, it's worth noting that they aren't the only Bachelor Nation couple facing challenges. Claire Crowley and Del Mons, engaged in season 16 of The Bachelorette, also announced their breakup in December 2023. Lately, we all can agree that this reality show is not really working. Perhaps maybe because they haven't really known themselves enough, but really, no matter how long you date a person, you never get to know them until you start living with them in a marriage. In a dating phase, everybody can be putting on a max, but when it comes into marriage, marriage unveils the real thing. But yes, this franchise, they're really struggling to have relationships that work with a lot of broken engagement and breakup here and there. But what's really surprising about Rachel and Brian's breakup is that Brian is asking for spousal support and for Rachel to pay his legal fees. 
especially when there are no kids involved in the relationship. It's just making everybody wonder, like, why is he asking for Rachel to pay his legal fees and why is he demanding for spousal support? What are your thoughts, you guys, on Rachel and Brian's divorce? And what are your thoughts on Brian? And what are your thoughts on Brian requesting for spousal support and also for Rachel to cover his legal fees? Do you also think they might reconcile or find happiness with new partners? Do you guys share your thoughts in the comment section as always. Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this point of the video, do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell to not miss another video. And until the next one, remember to pray, work out, work smart, and slay. Bye-bye. <laughs>